Hi guys, I'm signing in a couple minutes early to give everyone time to get in and get situated. I realize uh, we're, we're starting an hour later, so let me start by saying thank you very much for understanding that life changes and sometimes your schedule has to change too. So hopefully 6.30 works for you. Um, we do know at the end of the day we're never going to please everybody. So I try my hardest and 6.30 to 7.30 is our new time Monday and Wednesday here at Facebook Live. We know that uh, we still haven't gotten any word on what's going on with the gyms. So as I've said before, we will always be here for you here until we can be together there. Um, with that being said, there are some options, there are some outdoor classes that are available. So keep an eye on your favorite instructors or the Catalyst website to see when there's some pop-up classes and if you want to go to, uh, I believe I just posted, Rebecca is doing a cycling class on Wednesday uh, at the French Road location. So the South Towners, if you want to go to an outdoor cycling class, there's an opportunity. So the beautiful part about partnering with Catalyst is there are many locations, so there's going to be more opportunities to find some pop-up classes that might be convenient for you. You have to register, so if you want to do one of those, uh, make sure that you register. And if you register, make sure you go because there there's limited spots so if you register and then you don't go there's going to be an empty spot for somebody who maybe wanted to go uh, that's out of the way there's a nutrition class coming up i think you guys know this if you're tuning in and you don't know who we are we are hope chest mighty mighty hope chest um we are at the heart of it we are breast cancer survivors um i'm not they are they allow me to participate with them and they didn't make me pay the admission cost. So I'm very grateful for them. But we are also, uh, what we are primarily is a wellness group. So that's why we exercise. We exercise to stay strong and to keep the rate of reoccurrence down. So that's why we're here. I'm Dawn, I am the instructor, um, one of the Hope Chest instructors, but the Facebook instructor currently. We have lots of other instructors we love and they're offering classes online and like I said, the pop-up classes, so attend those. So let's get our heart rate. See, I talked long enough. So find your pulse in your wrist or your neck and start counting now. And stop. So that's our number. That's where we want to get back down to. With us starting a little bit later, hopefully we're a little calmer. We've had some time to get in and get situated. Um, hopefully you don't have a belly full of food. I was thinking a 30 and 30 and then get on the floor and do some work. So we're going to be doing a lot of cardio, um, but 50 second exercises, 10 second breaks in between each exercise. You're not going to feel like you need the 10 seconds the first couple exercises. My advice is make sure you take them anyway. So let's get started. I've got the music queued up. Nope, I've got it queued up, but I don't have it. Thanks. March it out. This is Party in the USA. That was the name of this mix. Sounded like fun. Step touch. Double step. It's changing over, I think. Double step. And a grapevine. You know what they say about the best plans. With a knee. Around the world arms. You guys keep going. I have no idea what's going on here. Keep going. Around the world arms. Two. 
Just a step touch, step touch. Maybe the volume is all the way down. Double step. Oh yeah. Just march it out. I know. Thank you for bearing with me. Knees up front, pull it down. Because last time I turned it on, we were outside. Hamstring, reach and pull. Half a beat off. Knees up front. up front. Hamstring. Two knees. Two hands. Two knees. Two hands. Two knees. Two hands. Two knees. Two hands. And a center squat. Down and up. Reach for the floor, right hand, left hand. Add the overhead extension, so floor to ceiling. Four more, four, three, two, one. Pulse it down, keep that chest up. Heels press down, toes lifted. Little run, side to side. Out in front, reach. Up overhead, reach. Out in front, reach. By your toes, reach. And in front. Up high, two. In front. Down low. In front. Up high, in front, down low, in front, wide squat, down and up. Pulse it down, little pulse. Hands on the quad, stay here. Round your back, release it. Round your back, release it. Round your back, roll it up, shoulders back. Elbows back, arms back, we're going to take deep breaths. So we're not going to do that cardio section because we're going to do 30 exercises in 30 minutes. I say 30 and 30, it could be 31, maybe 33, who knows? We'll see how good my brain is working. So get water, make sure you have water and a towel and a good attitude and be ready to go. We have 15 seconds, so you can start to march. So you don't have to be a breast cancer survivor to work out with us. Anybody can work out with us. All ages. Ready? Level one is a march, level two is a jog, level three is a run. Let's go. Okay, so 637. We'll see how close we get. So you're gonna be here for 50 seconds. You can bring it up a little faster. And then take it back down to the jog. Whatever you want to do to make that 50 seconds go by fast. 50 seconds on, 10 second break. 30 exercises. We don't repeat them in one circle. But I'll never remember them. Hopefully I don't repeat them. We got 20 more seconds. Let's go. Keep it going. Nice and easy. Make sure you're landing on a nice flat foot. Spread those toes out in the toe box. Take up that whole shoe. Those knees are pumping. You got five more seconds till that break. Ready, set, stop. So you got 10 seconds. So we always, you know what the first reaction is going to be. No surprises. We're going into jumping jacks. Ready, set, go. Level one is here. Level two is here. Level three is just faster. I would say, keep it here because you're going to be there for a whole minute. Unless you really want to push it. But here's level one. Two and three here. 
so hopefully everyone's doing well. But again, still not even talking about the gym's opening. So we'll be here, and you'll be down at Buffalo Harbor State Park on Saturday. If you haven't joined us yet, come join us. We're socially distanced. Trust me. What do I want to say about trust me? And stop. Ten second break. Next move is jump ropes. We know the deal with jump ropes. If you don't, don't worry. So level one, low impact, right here. Level two is here. Level three, give me a high jump. Let's have a couple jumps. So lay that nice flat foot. And then push off from the balls of the feet. You don't really have a rope. Whatever you want to do. Little. Oh, Will Smith, get you going. I believe this is one of Orissa's favorite songs. She's probably not watching, but we're going to send a big hug out to Orissa. Because she also loves hugs. She's a huge fan. She's not. Don't go hug her. But she's awesome. And we love her. And she'll be back to personal training soon. Ready, set, stop. Okay, we're gonna jump the puddle. We know this one. Level one. Level two. No, 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 not yet. Go. Level three is just faster. Side to side. Again, land on that flat foot. Pace is up to you. How much room you have will determine how much you move around. You can take it forward and back. Nice and easy. Jump that puddle. Remember, level one here. Nice and easy. You got 20 seconds. Try to take more of So we're going to do some kicks. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Stop. So we're going to do some kicks. So we're going to start with just one leg. You're going to plant this leg and it's just a knee up kick. Here, level one. Level two, you can take it back a little farther into that lunge. Level three is just faster. Ready, set, go. So level one, here. Kick it out. Kick it out. Level two gives me that little lunge. And a kick forward. One leg. Level three. You can really give a harder kick. But make sure that you're not twisting that knee. So again, here. Boom. 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 Kick it out. Kick it low. Kick it medium. Kick it high. Low. Medium. High. Keep going. Five seconds. Ready? March. So you get the deal. We're taking it to the other leg. Ready? Level one. Kick it. Lift it up. Kick it out. Level two. Lunge it back. Kick it out. my footing, my foot, I know, excuse it, let's go, so here, up and kick, boom, so you can do low, medium, high, you want to go fast, boom, 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 up to you, or get that lunge back, that big kick, 10 more seconds, couple more, Couple more. Three, two, one more. Okay. We're gonna come forward, throw some punches, even it out. Pull those elbows back. Hands are in fifth. And you're just gonna jab. Jab it out. So see that target in front of you. How far you sit back will determine whether or not you got that lower half working. Otherwise. Up here, have that target in front of you. I want powerful punches. 
left, left, on the wide. Third, changing right in the middle. If you want to stay on one side, then go to the other side. If you want to do both, do both, because that coordination part is killing you. No names mentioned. You have five seconds. Three, two, one. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna pick up line of weight for the next one. We're gonna be here. So, lighter weights or same weight, no momentum, out and in. If you don't have that range of motion, you can come out right here, not as far, otherwise. No higher than shoulder. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you come down. Or alternate, or one, two, 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 let's go. One, two, double, double. Or you can stay double the whole time. If you have those heavier weights, Make sure you're not swinging it. No momentum. And stop. If you want those weights hang by your side, and we're going to go into the oblique. We're going to go side to side. Hold on. Ready, set, side to side. So if we get down on the floor a little bit earlier, we can do some new stuff. Give me four pulses. Four, three, two, one. Switch. And switch. And switch. Switch it up. Switch it up. Single, side to side. Shoulders are passing right over the middle of the body. Four, three, two, one. Stop. We're going to come elbows back and extend back into triceps. You're going to do one at a time. I'm still in the lighter weights. You can go to the heavier weights if you want to. Draw it back, extend. So if you've been following me, you know that I have new equipment at home. So I am sore right now. So. I don't want to compromise my form. I'm doing double. You can do single, single, double, double. But what I don't want you to do, I don't want you to pull it up to the chest. So stop at the hip. Right here. Kick back. Kick back. Kick back. You're almost there. Ten more seconds. Yes, you can. Power through. You are stronger than you think you are. Four, three, two, one. You're going to bring it up front. So you should feel that a little bit in the back. We're going to lean forward into that row. If you want to pick up the heavier weights, pick up the heavier weights. Knees are bent, lean forward, row, row. So think about it. This weight just sliding up the top of the leg. Elbows pulling back, shoulder blades squeezing together. We're going to add some pulses at the top on this next one. So it's three, two, one, release. Three, two, one, release. Keep that back nice and straight. And single. Pull. So really squeeze the shoulder blades together at the top of this. Two more. Last one. We're going to come up front. We're going to take it to a delt raise. I'm going to do one side at a time. If you want to do double, do double. Just don't swing the weight. Ready, set, go. So one, other. If you want to, one side, other side, double, double. So think about those elastic bands. Pulling them up in front of you. Nice straight arm. 
So working on the top of the shoulders. Nice solid foundation, double double. Single, single. Double, double. Single, single. Double, double. Last time. Single, single. Double, double. Woo. Okay, we're gonna do up front rows. So I say it's like zipping a parka. The zippers, follow the legs all the way up to the shoulders. Ready, set, go. So exhale, press it down. Exhale, press it down. Again, you can alternate. Just don't let the body rock. That's for another time. Keep it going. So again, you can do single, single, double, double. Keep going. Double, double, or stay double, double the whole time. You rest 20 seconds. You got this. We only have 10 minutes of the weight that I'm in. We'll be set that grip. Five more seconds. And stop. So we're going to go to a lawnmower. We're going to turn this leg out. Lean on this leg. Straight leg behind you. And start that lawnmower. Pull it. If you can't be down that low, you can be up here. Just not on the knee. Rest the hand on the quad or elbow on the quad. So try and get it, think floor, right to the armpit. Let that elbow come around the body. So if you're up here, think inside of the knee, armpit. Exhale as you pull back. Almost there. Ten more seconds this side. Or you're down here. Keep that back flat, don't let it round down. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna come kind of check it out. I'm still staying with that lighter weight. You can go with a heavier weight. Front legs turn out a little bit. And pull. So foot right to the armpit. Flat back. You can be up here. So again. Saying it, but I don't want the hand on the knee. Up here, think inside of the knee to the armpit or foot to armpit. Halfway there, keep going. Pull it around the body. Woo! It's so good to have you guys rolling with me on Saturday. Turned out, shoulders are back. We're going to go into that plie. I want a lot of space between your feet. Here we go. Down and up. So feet far apart. Don't tell me you have knees, bad knees when I do this. That's not the move. That's all wide. Down and up. And see how my chest is staying back? My shoulders are right over my hips. If you want to do a little up front row, you can. You don't have to. If you want to make it harder for the, you want to make it more challenging for the second half, come up on the toes. So if you want to lift it up off the floor. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Put it down. Out of the way. I'm going to go right to that B step. Level one, out, out, in, in. Level two, jog, jog, wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Level three, X. So it's like you're jumping, Jack, but you're making a big X. Then in. Otherwise, out, out, in, in. Or 
drive it out and in. Out and in. Oh, you know we're getting towards the end, right? If you've been doing this one, switch to the other foot. Start on the other foot. Wide, 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 narrow, narrow. Five more seconds. And stop. We're going to go to those shuffles. How about we start with a one, two, three knee first? Then we'll go to the shuffle. So we know level one is one, two, three knee. Everybody. Or shuffle knee. Be very aware of the carpet, anything on the floor, and that you're picking that foot up. My biggest fear when I'm out running, because I don't pick my feet up high enough, is I'm going to trip over like a blade of grass. And no one's going to come get me because it's so early in the morning. No one's going to hear the phone. Ten more seconds. Okay, that's not my biggest fear, but it's up there. Hope chest, yes, you know my biggest fear. Oh, it's a tie? And stop. We're gonna go to shuffle and touch the floor. The water in the Buffalo River, huh? And then spiders. Okay, you ready? Level one, you're just gonna shuffle over, squat. Level two, shuffle over, touch the floor. Level three is just faster. It used to be being in spandex in front of people. Huh. Now you do it all the time. And if you don't want to see me, keep scrolling, right? Life is too short. What do we know? There will always be negative people. Don't join them. Don't join it. Five more seconds. Couple more. And stop. So the next move, I'm coming back. Level one is going to push the fanny back. And give me circles. Level two or three, you're going to walk out to the plank. And then you're going to walk back without straightening the legs. When you come back up, ready, set, go. So it looks like this to plank. And then right to here. And then back out. And then back. So again, level one. Circles forward. You know we're getting close. You know we're getting close. Keep those circles going. Woo! Otherwise, you're in a good plank. And then back. I have to watch the clock. You keep going. Ten more seconds. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Ready, set, stop. So what's going to happen next? Level one, shake those legs out. You're going to take the circles back. Level two and three. So two, down on the floor to plank. And you're going to tap side to side. And three on your toes, tap side to side. So when you're there, do not let the body rock. I can't even do it. It's not that. The body stays square. Side to side. Number one, here. You're already halfway done. Keep those taps going. Side to side. Feet in play. You can be on your knees. It's all right. It's all right. All we don't want to do, we just don't want to quit. So here it's fine. Ten more seconds. Give me a few more. A few more. Like three more. Two. One, we're gonna come on back. Level one. You're gonna give me elbows together and out. Level two, level three. You're gonna walk it out, walk it in, up and down. Out and in, up and down. You don't have to hop if you don't want to, but you're gonna come all the way up. So different from the other one. Yes, 
we're still walking it out. You keep going. Level one. So yes, we're getting a lot of upper body today. So even if you use the light weight, or no weight when you're here, shoulders are burning. You walk it out, walk it in, pop it up. Come on, you got like two more. Pop it up. Three, two, one. Come on up, shake it out. Woo. We're gonna do just a little back and forth. Remember that jab, cross, step back. Remember that one? We're going there, you ready? Jab, cross, step back. Boom, pop. One, two, three, four. Level two, get a little hot. Level three is just more powerful. See that target in front of you? Step forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. I want you to feel that punch. 30 and 30. I know you're impressed with me on the 30 seconds. I'm not there yet. Got a couple more. A couple more. 15 seconds. Jab, cross, step back. Jab, cross, step back. Jab, cross, step back. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. If anything, other side. Woo, shake it out. Feel those shoulders? Ready, set. Jab, cross, step back. Jab, cross, step back. Get it going. Level two. Get those fists ready to go. Tiny fists of fury. Let's go. Like a baby. 
Okay, let's go. Stand up. Little box of jar. You keep going. You got 30 seconds. This one's a whole minute. 30 seconds. You're a level one. You can be here. Get that upper coat with a toe tap. Otherwise, get those heels going. Transfer the weight. Transfer the weight. 15 seconds. Finish strong. Pick up the pace a little bit. Pick it up a little bit. Last 10 seconds. Power it up. Last 10 seconds. Finish line. Five, four, three, two, one. Launch it out. Step touch. We watched a movie over the weekend. I think it was called Love Birds. It was funny. The song was in it. And elbow rolls back. So that was 32. How's that feel? You good? If you're laying in a puddle on your floor, perfect. If your heart rate's up there, perfect. If you stayed with us the whole time, perfect. Two more. March it out. Give me a big deep breath. Deep breath. This time we're going to come all the way up. Bottoms of the hands press out towards me. Fingertips back on one hand, palm to palm. Press it out. Feel that lat open up. And the other side, palm to palm. Press it out. Palms behind you or back. Pull those shoulders back. Great big deep breath. That one hand drop down between the shoulder blades. And the other side. And release it. Where did you come from the floor? What I want to do is feed against the wall. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to turn the camera just a little bit. So let's get our mat. You're going to see the other side of the room here. So what I want to, what I want to see from you, even though I can't see you, your feet are going to go up against the wall. So if you're at home and you have freshly painted walls, take your sneakers off before your significant other really doesn't like me. Turn the camera a little bit. Okay, oh, look at that. There's your clock, Donna. Right there, you see it? Okay. So, we're here. Freshly painted walls, take your seat off. Otherwise, feet are up against the wall. Hands are behind your head. Feet are flat. Or here with your hands. And bridge. Up and down. Bridge and down. And four and three. You're gonna go to one foot right here. So straight up and down. Four more right there. And four and three. And two. Switch side. One foot on the wall, one foot to the ceiling. Four more right there. And four, three, two, both feet on the wall. Press up. If you want to do these feet on the coffee table or on the sofa, you can do that. But if I do that, I'm completely behind you. Two more. Bring it down. Draw those knees under the chest. Give me a little rock, side to side. Second set. If you stretched away from the wall, get back in. Feet up flat. Hands behind your head or on the floor. If you want to add the weight, you can. Lift up and down. 
So you're going to have your weight across your pelvis. So you feel your hamstrings. So it's a little bit different here. Not just glutes and quads. Your hamstrings are pulling you up. In four, three, two, one foot. Press it up. Up. Press up. Press up. Four more there. Four, three, two, switch sides. If you want to have your feet on the floor, you can stay there. You're just missing out on this great hamstring experience. This great hamstring experience. Two more. Feet are flat. Finish up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. And four. Three. Two. One. Bring it down. Hamstrings are on fire, yes? Ooh, what does that mean? We got one more set. One more set. Yes, you can. This is the hardest thing you've done all day. You're having a damn good day. Feet on the wall. Third and final set. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Hamstrings burning. Four more. Four. Three, two, one foot up, just four. Four, three, two, other side, here we go. Four, three, oh yeah. Two, both feet up, land and finish. Give me two more. Oh, bring it down. We need the chest. So real quick, roll it down here. I'm going to tap on something real quick. So tonight, before you go to bed, you're going to go up against the wall, and you're going to get your fanny as close as you can to the wall, your legs as straight as you can get them, and you're going to stay there for five minutes before you go to bed. And just let all that blood flow. You'll thank me tomorrow. Try it out. Let me know what you think. We're going to go into abs, so I'm going to pull my mat away from the wall, and then I'm going to turn the camera again. You guys can just your mat over, whatever works for you. But I'm going to get off the, that part of the floor. Again, I'm in the basement. I think there's spiders over there. In the darkest corners of the basement. Okay, let's get some abs in. Whew, you feel your hamstrings? That was challenging. I know, we do bridges all the time, but you felt the difference, right? I'm sure you did, because I know I did. Okay. Feet are up. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Up and back. Up and back. Exhale. So keep that space between your chin and your chest. Two more. Add that rotation. Think. Opposite elbow. Tap the inside of the knee. So two hands on the floor, one hand inside the knee. So tap. Knee, tap, knee. If you feel pain in the lower back, pain, not, not mild discomfort, not muscle discomfort. You, you work through that. Sharp shooting pain always, always, always means stop. Make sure you know the difference. What is the question? Does it hurt or am I hurt? It's two completely different things. Four. Three, two, one. Take that break. Got to keep it here. Woo. Exercise is self-care. Self-care is of the utmost importance, especially right now. We talk a lot about keeping other people safe and other people healthy. Focus on you first. Don't worry about that. First, second. Come on back. Forward and back. It's not selfish. If you don't do that and you get sick, who's going to take care of them? Now, I want you to reach. Same hand, same foot. Same hand, same foot. 
Oh, we're almost there. You know we're almost there. You ready to do? Toes, knees, hips. Toes, knees, hips, ceiling. Toes, knees, hips, ceiling. Toes, knees, hips, ceiling. How about eight more? And seven. Just six. Yes, you can. Just five. Last four, then you're done. Don't quit now. That doesn't even make any sense. Two more. Last one. Come on up and hug those legs. You made it. It didn't kill you. It made you stronger. Okay. You guys lay down. I'm going to change the music. Lay down. Knees to the chest, little rock side to side. So you're going to feel them a little different tomorrow. Come center, straighten that leg, gentle rotation. And the other way. Knee drops out, ankle crosses over, reach through, pull it in. I did 18 holes yesterday. If you know me, you think 18 holes, of, you know I think that 18 holes of golf is about 12 too many, right? Knee to the chest, nice and tight. Arm out, let it drop out to the side. And center, straight and gentle rotation of that ankle. And the other way. Knee drops out, ankle crosses over, reach through, pull it in. Together, elbow pushes the knees away. Little rock. And release that. Walk it out. Legs are out long. Arms drop down by your side. And close your eyes. Release the tension in the shoulders and the neck. Release the pressure in the jaw. Feel the spine melting into the mat, or the floor, or the blanket. Take that deep breath in through the nose. Hold it. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Hold it. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Hold it. Exhale through 
exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. One last time too. Inhale. Hold it. Return to that regular breathing pattern into the nose, out through the nose. Next deep breath in. Give the fingertips a little wiggle on the exhale. <coughs> deep breath in. On the exhale, open the eyes, give the toes a little wiggle. Inhale, draw the right knee to the chest, hold it there. Exhale. Inhale, left knee comes up to meet it. Exhale. Inhale, great big rock up. We need to straddle stretch. Okay, it's a little bit later time, so the beauty part is you're almost ready for bed. Hands on the floor. I don't have my towel here. I was going to show you. You can use your towel under your foot and use that to help you stretch. Get that longer pull. It'll help your back and your hamstrings. You're going to feel your hamstrings tomorrow if you did those with your feet against the wall. Take it over to the other side. So 30 and 30 on a Monday. That's a great way to get your week off to a nice start. One hand on each foot. I believe that Jen is still uh, open invitation. Just Jen. Uh, foot to the inner thigh, reach for the toes. Open invitation to join her directly after class on Saturday to go for a bike ride um, right along the water. She says the pace is slow. I believe that Linda joined her last week, not this past week, but the week before, just one person. So if you have a bike and you want to ride with others, slow and enjoy the scene, the scenery, foot up and over, elbow. Bring your bike down with you. It's a safe, nice bike path. Then onto the hip, top of the shoe, stack the hips. Press the pelvis forward. And over to the other side. Foot to the inner thigh, reach for the toes. Remember, there will be some pop-up classes. Watch Catalyst's site. Alan is doing a bunch of them. Um, like I said, Rebecca's doing an outdoor. I know Alex has done his Zumba. I believe Carly's done some body combat, foot up and over. You want to try something different? If you're sick of looking at my basement, go on the Catalyst Facebook page and look for these pop-up classes and sign up and go. And then to the hip. And nutrition classes, class with Sally at her sanctuary. I think it's going to be, a, I don't think, it's going to be a Zoom meeting. So make sure you sign up for that. Sally misses your faces. And find your pulse, wrist or neck. Start counting now. And stop. So let's compare that to our number from earlier. Again, we wanna be around 15, a little higher, a little lower is better, but not too low. We're gonna come up from the floor. Your head's the last thing to come up. Feet are wide. Push the weight forward. Roll it up. Shoulders back. Elbows back. Arms back. Great big deep breath. Reach and pull. Other side. And release it one last time. Deep breath. Ladies, have a great night. Thanks for waiting the extra hour. I think this time is going to work well for me, so hopefully it works for you too. Otherwise, go to YouTube, 
John Mack, Hope Chest, find me, subscribe, and work out whenever it's convenient for you. Talk to you soon.